What's up, everybody? So the Undisputed Update made this man that you're looking at right now something he is by nickname only. And that is a monster. And they need to do something about it. I'm going to tell you what it is and why. Let's get into it. So the Undisputed Dev team unveiled tier traits in the most recent update. And I definitely wanted to take a deeper dive into it because I love the concept of tier traits. And we got to figure out how tier traits are related to damage a little bit more. And so one thing that I discovered when I started looking into this was Zhukan is a freaking monster. He is a monster. They like looked at his nickname and said, okay, what can we do to make him live up to that? And they definitely did when they gave him tier three punches and bunches. Here's what I did first of all. So I took one boxer, one fighter, however you want me to say it. You guys know what I'm talking about, dang it. So I took one fighter, I took Josh Warrington. He's a tier one. I took Carl Frampton because he's one of the new fighters that had a tier two. And I took Zhu Khan who had the tier three. So I took those three fighters and I fought them all against Ryan Garcia. And when I fought him against Ryan Garcia, I fought him at 1.0 damage, which is the default damage. And then I fought him at 1.5 damage, which is a damage that like Savage Boxing Promotion, they usually have their fights in their tournaments or whatever at 1.5 damage because they want that, you know, they, the damage is a little low. So that was a way to bump up the damage and make it a little more authentic, a little more realistic. What I realized was bumping it up to 1.5, it made Zhukan be like the wilder of the lower division. I mean, he was, he's just a terror. He's just a terror and, and you'll see that. So I started with Josh Warrington and what I realized with Josh Warrington, those tier ones, it definitely didn't feel like I was doing enough. It, it felt like I was Jordan Gill or if I was a, another fighter that didn't have any traits. I was like, is this really doing anything to the Ryan Garcia? Was I really, was I even affecting him? It really didn't feel like it. So when I was fighting this and, and then I took use Carl Frampton against Ryan Garcia and I did feel like more damage was being done. So here's one thing that I noticed right away. There is a significant difference between the tier two and the tier one as there should be. But I think tier one needs a slight bump, right? I, I think tier one needs a slight bump because Josh Warrington, I, I felt like I was going to go 12 rounds just like normal and it wasn't really doing anything, even though they increased damage. It didn't feel, I didn't really didn't notice much of a difference when I was using Josh Warrington with the punches and bunches. But when I went to Carl Frampton against Ryan Garcia, I did notice a difference. When you're putting your punches together, you're definitely gonna notice your opponent's gonna be in danger a lot earlier. It feels like there's a closer gap between tier two and tier three than it is between tier one and tier two. So I wonder if there's a way that they can close that gap. Now, of course, there's a lot of details I don't know, and you're seeing exactly what I experienced. So I just think there's tier one and tier two. Tier one feels like normal. It feels like normal to me. And then tier two, I, I definitely noticed a difference. Tier three, there was a major difference. But I will stick with tier two. I noticed I could definitely hurt my opponent faster. And even though you'll be able to see in this video how I was able to get rid of Ryan Garcia in a round, it was still a different. You just never know when the CPU was going to get up and when they're not. Now, when I went to Zukan versus Ryan Garcia, even at 1.0 damage, it was serious. It was serious. And something I didn't mention before I moved on to Carl Frampton was Josh Warrington at 1.5 damage. I still, it still wasn't enough for me with his punches and bunches trait. It still wasn't enough. So that tells me that tier trait needs a slight bump. It needs just a slight bump. I'm not saying a lot, but it, it definitely needs a slight bump. And then I, when I look at Carl Frampton as tier two, from 1.0 to 1.5, I noticed a significant difference because at 1.5, I was got Ryan Garcia out within a round. When it was 1.0, it took a little more time, but I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. And I'm gonna tell you why in a little bit. Now, when we jump to Zhu Khan with the tier three, the 1.0, he still felt like a monster. And then the 1.5, he was just destructive. He was just destructive. He was gonna destroy you. You were not going to win. You were not going to win. So 1.5 damage is definitely too much damage, I will say, especially when you have these traits involved. It's just too much because that's not authentic Zukan just taking people out within one to two rounds. That's not him. He's a volume puncher, yes. He's a volume puncher, but not there's not like a lot of power on those punches. I'm not saying that damage needs to be nerfed. What I'm saying is that tier three needs to be nerfed and it doesn't have to be across the board you know what i'm saying i'm not saying all oh, wilder's tier threes need to be nerfed maybe he doesn't need as many 
tier threes. Maybe Wilder doesn't need as many tier threes, but I will say I like the way Wilder feels. I like how dangerous he feels. So I almost feel like that's appropriate, but for Zhukan, that's not appropriate. So maybe that needs, maybe he just needs to go down to tier two. Maybe he shouldn't be at tier three. And they did say this is a work in progress, but I definitely think Zhukan should be down to tier two with Carl Frampton at the least. Well, I'm glad they did make him tier three so they can try it out because they've been adjusting other people's traits anyway, other fighters traits. And what I will say about these traits is tier traits is a win. Damage maybe needs a slight adjustment up and then leave it. 1.5 damage is too much. 1.0 damage, I think it should be around, believe it or not, 1.2 damage. I think if they just increase it like to around that mark, 1.2 damage, you gotta do one of two things. You either have to make it 1.2 damage or you really have to focus on these tier traits because if you get these tier traits straight, it's gonna work out as far as damage is concerned. So I do not want them, if they do anything else, if they wanna make any slight increases to damage, okay, I'm okay with that, but I would rather, this is what dev team, if you're ever listening to me, focus on the tier traits. You did an increase to the damage, now focus on these tier traits. They're great. You just got to give the right traits to the right people with the right level. I think that's the next step here. Getting the traits to the right level with the right fighters. And then you're going to really see a difference in how people play. Because if I know I'm going against someone that is a tier three punches and bunches like Zhu Kan right now, you best believe I'm going to be boxing on the outside because I want to stay away. I don't want to let him get his combinations off. I want to continue to make him reset so he doesn't get his combinations off. So knowing that, it's going to add another element to the fight. I hope the tier traits are here to stay. They just have a lot of work to do in order to give the right fighters the right traits and the right level. But once they cross that threshold, we're going to see exactly where we need to be with damage. And I think by that point, we'll be able to make an assessment as, OK, now I think we're good with damage. As far as visual damage is concerned, I don't know if you guys noticed in this video, you can go from the referee looking at you and making sure your cut's good. Oh, yeah, your cut. You can still continue on. And then maybe two punches later, you're then done. You're then done and they stop the fight because that actually happened to me. But let me know what you guys think about this. What do you guys think about tier traits in general? What do you think about tier traits versus damage? Do you think they should now focus on the tier traits? Do you think they should just up the damage just a little bit, like I was saying, to 1.2 and then just hone in on the tier traits? What do you guys think? Love to hear your thoughts. That's all I have for this one. Like, comment, show me some love. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace. That cut is in a very bad place. The referee might stop it here. And he will stop it. TKO winner, a mercy stoppage there from the referee. So it is a TKO win here.